Remember the worm to cool chart. We need to think about that as we do the face. So we have the orange and that is on the light side. So that's like, you know, this here. So as it goes toward shadow, we just need to come this way. I am planning to do the face, but uh, I guess it's because this this shadow, this diagonal is so important. It's really one of the main lines on the painting that is important. And it's a good time to, to do this, make this stronger, to emphasize that shadow since we're starting the face because I'm it's just connected with the face and since I'm working top to bottom, it'll just come this way and it can keep on working onto the face as it as this dries on the top. You can see it's pretty wet. See the reflection there. And I've got almost a little too much water, but it's just because I, I want to make sure it stays as wet as it can until I'm ready to paint. Well, plus it's slanted, so it is drying fast, so that's, that's really why, why I'm using so much water. I just have to be careful it doesn't run. That bead that that bead doesn't get too too much water in it. So I'll just tilt this back in order to even the wetness out right before starting to paint. That way it'll give us as much painting time as possible. I'm actually gonna hold it up to where the painting's a little more flat for the moment, just so it gives me more time to work with it. So there's the brown matter, just first, and that way it can have that nice glow on, warm glow on the edge of the shadow. Pretty clean, strong, but once I go in with the cerulean blue, it'll, we can blend these together on the paper a little bit. So wherever you first put the brush down, see how it's most clean there? Where it's first started and as you go, it can blend with the other colors, so it's good to be careful where you start. It's good to be careful where you first put the brush down because of that.
I'm holding it up. So it's still pedaling. I'm watching that carefully and since I'm holding it a little more flat, it's not running as quickly as easily. Okay, it's about time to I can continue on downward toward the face. So that's why it's good to have the speed here and we can just let it just pull from the bead, pull that water down. There's not much of a bead here anymore. I better um either add water underneath it because if I keep going it's going to dry the paper out too much or I could stop not try to do too much more at one time. There's that warm violet again. So, see how you can leave spaces like that to put another color right in between it. It's almost to it that it's almost, the uh, violet is almost blending by itself over into the warm side. I'll just go with that, a grade down, burnt sienna, juxtaposed right in between the, the, the violet. It's a little too noticeable, but once we just take the brush and the tip of it, if you press the brush down too much, it can overblend it real quickly, but if you just take the tip of the brush, and that's enough right there. If I go one more time, It'll probably be over blended. Okay, you know what? And I should stop here because I really need to get up to this edge. It's drying up here, and I don't want it to dry with that sharp blend. Just remember them. Um, match the brush's wetness to the color so that. We don't get a back wash. Just putting just pure water down here and then connecting it to the color and that way I won't get, have an edge, a line of color showing. Okay, this really needs to be softened just a little bit, just with a, a dry brush. Just at the last minute, there's like Really a, a satin reflection of water.
Okay, and just let it stay sharper as it comes closer to the face. You know what, too? This edge right here needs to be softened also. It's a gradual edge, like a curve, as it curves around. There we go. Almost like a satin, really a satin reflection. Okay, so it's too dry now. I better stop there. And once it's dry all the way, if we wanted to, we could come back and wet over this and, and end this here. There's a little stripe. It's like where the paint gets collected right along the edge and it becomes this little dark stripe so we could come back and get that off later if we want to once it dries all the way.